What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be diving into the Astral Coliseum game mode in Age of Apes. So this brand new game mode essentially takes two gangs of roughly equal power and it teleports them onto the Astral Coliseum battle map. From there, the two gangs have to fight over the control of different structures on the map, all while trying to obtain the fuel cell in the middle of the map to bring back to their controlled buildings. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. It's going to make a lot more sense once we go through all this and we look at some gameplay. But first, let's take a look at the rules. It says that the, there's a background, okay? The background's important. We got to read this. It says, although mankind has long since fled the earth, the many space stations they built have been left floating above the planet. Our gang's heroic warriors reached these stations after overcoming countless dangers. But who should they see there? Enemy monkeys from other clans. The dignity of our warriors must be upheld and precious space resources must be secured. Head into the heated battlefield of space and seize the treasures and defend our gang's honor. Now in Astral Coliseum, players can earn personal and gang points by delivering fuel cells occupying Colosseum structures and gathering capacitors. Among these, delivering fuel cells to the destination awards the most amount of points. The gang with the most total points at the end of the battle wins. Rewards will also be distributed based on gang points and personal points. Okay, so you're thinking, how do I get in involved in this? How do I start playing this game mode? So your gang actually has to qualify to register for the Astral Coliseum. Gangs with a power ranking within the top 20 can register for the event. Only gang leaders and R4 officers can register and choose a preferred battle time on behalf of the gang. And I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. As far as participants go, R1, R2, and R3 gang members can apply to participate in the main event, or they can be invited by a gang officer. Now, gang officers can also make people backup fighters. And we'll, again, we'll show you that in a second. Once everybody is registered, then the game starts to look for another gang that you can fight up against. Once you've found your match, there's a 24 hour countdown before the game begins begins. It's important that you are online at the exact time that your Astral Coliseum event is going to take place because it is a 60 minute battle. So you want to be there. You want to be present for the entirety of the duration of that fight. And your gang is going to be dependent on you. If you are outnumbered, it's going to be really difficult to make a comeback in a short amount of time. So once the event opens, there's a small window where it's just a preparation phase. And this is when the officers can place markers and use items and things like like that. Now fighting is pretty much exactly the same, except you actually won't lose any troops in Astral Coliseum. So if you fill up your hospital, you can have thousands of troops in the hospital and they won't actually die. You won't have to heal them. Once you leave the game mode, they're automatically healed, which is really good, which means you can just fight as much as you want and you'll be good. Your medical station has no cap here. So as long as you have troops in reserves, you can use them to fight. Um, but if you do want to heal your medical station during the fight, you will need to use speed ups. Now you will have the opportunity to teleport around the map. So you don't have to actually just stay in that starting safe zone, but there is a limit of 20 teleports for your entire team. And if you only have 30 players, that means that some players aren't going to be able to teleport until you capture specific structures on the map that will grant you more teleports. So that's really important that your most powerful players teleport first. Now there's also going to be a lot of buffs involved here. So there's some buffs that we're going to show you here in a second. These are buffs that your, your officers can actually pick ones that you think your team would want the most. There's also battlefield buffs. So that means once you're in the Astral Coliseum, there's continuous buffs that are happening all the time. There's two structures on the map called the atmosphere tower and the gravity tower the gang that occupies these structures will receive buff effects during the time of that occupation there's also the capacitor charging station after a player depletes the charging station buff effects will be applied to the gang for a certain period of time okay so we've gone gone over the rules you guys probably have a general idea of this type of game mode this is how you actually register participants if you are actually a officer in your gang and your gang qualifies you just go in here and you click on the plus and you can choose which players that you want to send an invitation to I'm not going to do that now if a player actually applies to be in Astral Coliseum you'll see their application right here in this drop down window if you want to change a participating player to backup you just click on their name and you hit move to backup they'll kind of be on the sidelines waiting and if you need them they can join now on the sides of the screen you can see the buffs here so the first three buffs actually all are related to your troop type you can't stack the same buff three times so that's why they all pull from the same pool here so let's say my entire gang is all in on pilots I can't pick pilot attack for this one 
and this one because it's already been selected. So you can't have 60% pilot attack, but you can have 20% pilot attack, 20% pilot health, and 20% pilot defense if you wanted to. But it looks like my gang right here has picked all attack for all three troop types. For selection four, we could pick between increase of skill damage, recovering rage with every normal attack, increase fighter skill damage when defending a city or neutral building, seems really powerful, and increase fighter damage when attacking a city or a neutral building. Looks like we went with the just general skill damage increase. And for the fifth buff, you can pick between March, uh, scout March speed, March speed of troops, increase gathering speed of capacitors and increase March speed of all troops. I'm sorry. That first one was uh, in rallies. My bad. So this is the astral Coliseum game map. You can see on the right side, there's the red team will spawn in on this wing here. The blue team will spawn in on the opposite side, obviously. Now there's a ton of structures here in the center of the map in the very center is where the fuel cell spawns. This spawns, I think it's every 15 minutes. It only spawns three times throughout the duration of the match. So super crucial that you control the center of the map when that thing does spawn around the outside are a few other structures, including the space cabin, the large space cabin, a few other things like that on both sides here, we see the atmosphere tower and the gravity tower. Remember those are two structures that if you own them, you do get some passive buffs for the entire gang. So those are crucial. Then on both sides, you can see they have two warp gates here. Remember controlling a warp gate will give you more teleports. So it's important that you take those as soon as possible. Now, everything in this center here in gray is a place that you can teleport your outpost, except for the inner circle here. You can't teleport in this inner circle, but you could literally teleport anywhere else, which is crazy because you can have your mega powerful players teleport right to the front line and try to catch them off guard. But if you do that and you get rallied or you get swarmed down and your walls go to zero, you actually get teleported back to your starting zone and you just wasted a teleport for your entire gang. So that's a classic example of just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So this is some footage that was actually sent to me because my account just isn't strong enough to actually participate in this game mode just yet. But it looks like there's a little opening sequence, which is pretty cool. Just a couple of seconds long here. I don't know if they actually skipped the rest of that, but we're going to be skipping along this because this is a very long video and I don't think all of it is that relevant, but you can see right there. What was on the screen was the actual outpost um, of that player. So here we can get a better look at the actual map and the starting zone here. So you can see there's two outposts that they actually spawn near the back end of this little wing here. They don't spawn up in the, in the front there. So, um, this is like your safe zone. Enemies can't actually come into this area and continue to attack you. So that's good. If the enemy end up ends up being a lot stronger than you thought, or a lot stronger than you guys, or if you just not all your team showed up or whatever. So that's a nice overview of the map. As you guys can see, once that preparation phase is over, it looks like the structures turn to white and then you can go ahead and, uh, start fighting basically. Now the structures are actually owned by neutral units when you do first get to them. So you will have to actually fight for them uh, even when the match first starts. So it looks like they sent out their troops here to send it over to the, uh, to the warp gate. It looks like the enemy is on their way as well. And as you can see, they are fighting down the mutant monkey that is occupying the warp gate right off the bat. All right. So they won the warp gate and now they're actually controlling that structure. You can see there's a conquering timer countdown here. You'll also also see some rewards here. So for the first occupation, you get a ton of gang points as well. And there's continuous occupation rewards, both for the gang and also for the individual players that are inside of that structure for that duration of time. Looks like red over here is taking their warp gate as well. All right. So marvelous recalls his troops. He brings them back to his station. And then you can see he actually teleports right on top of the structure that the red player was going to go and grab. So if there, there's some good communication between you and your gang members. Uh, you could really have uh, small units of players um, teleport right on top of the enemy and do some really crazy things. Now you can see red actually took the structure. So we're going to see the blue player send out his units and it looks like he's going to attack that structure fighting a uh, tiny and he looks like he loses immediately. So now you're going to see him zoom out and then you'll see red player tiny over here. You're going to see him actually teleport out and he teleports over to one of the warp gates over here. And so the blue player actually noticed this and he's going to actually chase after him. He's going to teleport his city right over there as well. So boom, there he goes with the teleport. He's chasing him down. He doesn't want him to take his own warp gate. It looks like they actually do like a little ring around the rosy thing here. 
Now off on the side, you can see they are actually gathering some capacitors from these nodes here. So these, these do actually provide lots of points as well. So make sure that you are actually sending out some gatherers direct uh, throughout the duration of this game mode. Okay. So here we can actually see that any, the me, 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 I don't know what that player's actual name is, uh, but you can see they captured the large space cabin. And now we see this blue player marvelous is actually coming over to grab the fuel cell. You just saw that message on the screen there. Uh, the fuel cell had just spawned in and now we see marvelous coming over and grabbing it and he turns into an escort. So the escort obviously has a stamina bar here. And if it gets attacked, that bar goes down. So it's really important that when you grab this fuel cell, that your, uh, that your gang is there to be defending it because you can see it actually moves really really slow so we can kind of speed this up here by by fast forwarding but you can see uh, marvelous the player brings this completely uncontested to his large space cabin and you can see look at his points here look at the points for the entire gang right it goes from 16 23 and as soon as that delivery connects he gets 3000 points, which is super, super big here. We can take a closer look. I don't know if this is the gravity tower or the, uh, maybe it's the atmosphere tower. I don't know, but that actually looks really cool how it's like emitting that, that little animation. So this is obviously going to be way more chaotic and there's going to be way more battles happening in an actual fight. So I'm really excited to jump into this game mode and actually see some really cool things go down. Plus the fact that you don't actually lose troops just makes it so much easier to invest some time into this game mode. So this is the victory screen. You can see your personal points, how many enemies you defeated and how much power they lost from that defeat and man that's gonna feel so good when you see those big numbers there you're gonna know you absolutely crushed them we can scroll through it'll show you um, it'll break it down basically how many points you got from occupation gathering delivering the uh, fuel cell things like that and here it shows you some cool accolades things that you accomplished during the uh, during the fight and then the important part the rewards you get rewards based on personal performance and gang performance. So if you actually win, you get more rewards. So it looks like this, uh, this chest got a hundred CDs. You got one universal legendary medal that you can use for anybody. You got some speed ups, some experience here. And then this chest, when he opens it up, you get 15 universal legendary medals. That's crazy. Plus you get 50 hours of training speed ups. You get a ton of resources, you get 500 CDs, you get the experience, you get the attack buff. You also get 10 golden gene potions, which those are actually pretty hard to get as well. Now, I don't know if they're going to tweak these rewards in the future, but these rewards look really, really good for one hour of gameplay. Obviously you have to perform really well as well, but still every time this event comes around, this is something that you should be participating in, in hopes that you can get as many of these rewards as possible. Guys, I'm really excited for the Astral Coliseum event. I know this is going to be a really popular event from people that I've talked to who've already played it. They're really excited about this event as well, because again, you get to just fight all out and not have to worry about losing your troops. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield guys. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload an age of apes video, as always, my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, discord, and everywhere. Everything will be in the description. Comment down below. If you have any other questions about astral Coliseum or age of apes in general, I will try to answer as many of those as I can in the comment section below. And as always, there's a link in the description below to download age of apes absolutely for free click that link give the game a try the developers are constantly pumping out updates and trying to improve the game and reaching out to the community and trying to just make it as good and as fun of a game as possible with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace